One very important thing to understand about evaluating limits graphically is that we're not looking for what the function is equal to at a particular input. We're looking for the behavior of the function as we approach that location. We have three different functions on the screen, and they're all very similar, but slightly different. Notice that the function f of x has no missing points. The function g of x does have the point a3 missing, and the function h of x, it looks like the point that's supposed to be at a3 has been punched out and relocated to a2. So all of the functions are similar except for what's happening right at a, and we are investigating the limit when x is approaching a. For f of x, we can see that the function behavior is sending us to the output 3. For g of x, the exact same thing is happening. Even though the function is not defined there, the behavior of the function is sending us there, so the limit is equal to 3 as well. Now what about h of x? The function value is defined at a, but it doesn't match the behavior of the function. So notice that here, the limit is still equal to 3. The function behavior is sending us to 3, even though the function output is equal to 2 when we plug a into it. So this is something to remember. We're not looking for what the function's defined to be equal to. We're looking for the behavior that leads us to that value.